Hi everyone, my name is Marian, your technology friend. Today, I'll be doing a massive comparison among all the different iPhone 40 country variants. And when I say comparing country variants, I will be talking about the differences between what you will get if you buy an iPhone meant for Hong Kong versus what you will get from an iPhone meant for the Philippines. That is the reason why I will be referring the iPhones. We will talk about my country variants, but I will also be telling you the model number so there is no confusion. By the way, the model number I will be mentioning are found in the box just like this or in the phone settings by going to the about and tapping on the model number. If this is exactly the video you are looking for, continue watching till the end and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Here is the complete list of iPhone 14 country variants we will talk about. Number one, US and Puerto Rico variant. Two, Mexico, Canada, US Virgin Islands, Saudi Arabia, and Guam variant. 3. Japan variant, 4. Hong Kong and Macau variant, 5. China variant, 6. Russia, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan variant, 7. Korean variant, and number 8. Global variant, which includes all the countries that were not mentioned, they all fall under this global variant. Your iPhone should fall under these 8 iPhone 14 variants, and each one has their differences from each other, so let's cover them. Speaking of cover, I want to let you know what covers my iPhone and that is Casetify. I've been using this Casetify Ultra Impact case ever since I got it because I want to protect this insanely expensive iPhone 14 Pro Max and I'm sure you'd want to as well. With this case, you are protected up to 11.5 feet of drop protection and I have video proof of that at the end of the sponsored portion. The Ultra Impact case can confidently protect my phone because it has a protective camera ring, raised bezels, and extra corners. It is also made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, so it is sustainably made. All their cases can be customized to show your unique personality. They have so many prints, customizations, and collaborations with different brands and artists that you love. I'm sure you can create a case that you can confidently say it is uniquely yours. They also have MagSafe compatible cases because if you're just like me, this is a must have. I'm currently using their Ultra Impact case with my name at the back, etched to the back, but they also sent me three other cool designs which you will find in my link below. But like I said, even if Casetify cases are so design-centered, they do not compromise on protecting your phone. So here's a video of me in another Apple store in Singapore dropping my phone. Take it away, Marian. Hey guys, so we're here in Singapore in one of their Apple stores. This is the Marina Bay Sands branch, and we're here to do Casetify's drop test. This is their Ultra Impact case. It is military grade protection, and we're gonna be doing a drop test here. All right, drop test in three, two, one. Go. And even recording and stop that case didn't break lens protector all good there you go so that is my second apple store that i've dropped my phone in front of all the apple employees and customers so if you haven't seen the first one you can check the link here at the top now if you want to get some of the designs that i have here or any casetify case you can go to casetify.com slash marion yt and save 15 percent off your order so go click the link in the description and take advantage of this offer all right so let's go back to the country variants, starting with the US and Puerto Rico variant. So this variant covers these model numbers of each iPhone 14 model. For the iPhone 14, we have A2649, iPhone 14 Plus A2632, iPhone 14 Pro A2650, and iPhone 14 Pro Max A2651. So this variant here contains the most cellular bands because it supports millimeter wave 5G, which is the fastest type of 5G. You don't have to necessarily feel left out though because there's only a few countries that have implemented it and Philippines is not one of them. This variant is also dual eSIM only which eSIM is not widely available for a lot of countries so this can be a problem because it doesn't support physical SIMs. Next we have the Mexico, Canada, US Virgin Islands, Saudi Arabia, and Guam variant. So this variant covers these model numbers for the iPhone 14 A2881, iPhone 14 Plus A2885, iPhone 14 Pro A2889 and iPhone 14 Pro Max A2893. 
So this variant contains specific cellular bands meant for the countries it is for, so it works best for those countries. Now, that doesn't mean it will not work in other countries. It will still work, but it might experience signal loss in other countries because its cellular bands specialize on the countries it is for. This variant is also a hybrid dual SIM variant, meaning it supports one physical SIM and one eSIM to be dual SIM, or it can be two eSIMs. Next, we have the Japan variant. So this variant has the same model numbers as the previous variant, which is the Mexico and Canada variant. This country variant has the same cellular bands and SIM setup as the previous one. The only difference is that this variant has a permanent shutter sound on the camera app. Next, we have the Hong Kong and Macau variant. So this variant covers these model numbers for the iPhone 14, A2884, iPhone 14 Plus, A2888, iPhone 14 Pro, A2892, and iPhone 14 Pro Max, A2896. So just like the previous variants, this variant contains specific cellular bands meant for the countries it is for. So it works best for those countries. Now in the case of the Philippines, I did check that this variant supports all the LTE and 5G bands that Philippine networks use, so we would not be experiencing any signal loss. Now there's too many countries for me to check compatibility. If you have any requests, you can click the thanks button and tell me which country I should look at. This requires quite a bit of effort to look at, so I would appreciate if you can leave a tip for me to keep growing the channel. Also one of the biggest advantage of this variant is that it is a dual physical SIM model. This means you can stick two physical SIMs on your phone, no need to bother with eSIMs. Now, this also means you won't be able to use eSIMs on this phone, but for me, it is a worthy trade-off. This is the variant that I am currently using. Next, we have the China variant. So this variant has the same model numbers as the previous variant, which is the Hong Kong and Macau variant. It is exactly the same as the previous variant, dual physical SIM and same cellular bands, except you cannot do Wi-Fi calling and FaceTime audio. So don't get this, just get the Hong Kong or Macau version if you want dual physical SIM. Next, we have the Russia, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan variant. This variant covers these model numbers for the iPhone 14, A2883, iPhone 14 Plus, A2887, iPhone 14 Pro, A2891, and iPhone 14 Pro Max, A2895. This variant is nothing really special. It contains specific cellular bands for the countries it is for. It is a hybrid dual SIM, meaning it makes use of one physical SIM and one eSIM to get dual SIM functionalities or two eSIMs. Although, fun fact, because of the Russia-Ukraine war, Russia doesn't receive any iPhones from Apple, but if they are to illegally import or illegally find a way to import an iPhone, this is the iPhone most compatible to them. Next, we have the global variant. I switched the Korean variant to the last one because it will be easier to explain this way. You will see why. But the global variant is the variant meant for all the countries except the countries I mentioned previously that have their own variants and Korea. Here are their model numbers. For the iPhone 14, A2882. iPhone 14 Plus, A2886. iPhone 14 Pro, A2890. And iPhone 14 Pro Max, A2894. This variant is the most compatible across the world because it is the one most sold around the world. This is the variant we get in the Philippines, Singapore, Australia, and more. And this variant is a hybrid dual SIM because it makes use of one physical SIM and one eSIM to get dual SIM functionalities or two eSIMs. Finally, we have the Korean variant. So this variant shares the same model numbers as the global variant, iPhone 14, A2882, iPhone 14 Plus, A2886, iPhone 14 Pro, A2890, and iPhone 14 Pro Max at A2894. So the only difference between the Korean and global variant is that the Korea one has a permanent shutter sound, but it has the same cellular bands and dual SIM setup. So there you guys have it. Those are all the different iPhone 14 country variants. Generally, the best model for your country is still the one meant for your country, but there will be variants that will work fine for another country, such as the Hong Kong variant working well in the Philippines. If you want me to personally check if a certain variant will work well in a specific country, click on the thanks button and tell me which country I should look at. Shout out again to our sponsor, Casetify. Make sure to check their link below. And if you want more Apple content and iPhone 14 content, hit that like and subscribe button as I will be uploading more in the next couple of weeks. Click the thanks button also and donate to the channel if you appreciate the videos I make. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook with the username at Maoyoni. While waiting for my next videos, click the playlist right here to watch more of my Apple content. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Marian, your technology friend, and I'll see you on my next video.